Welcome back to Let's Play No One Lives Forever. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're uh, here to learn about arming and disarming explosives. explosives in order to proceed. All right, now open the door to the next area. There is no next area, it's just an exit. Or not. Blueprint for the new Unity Accounting Division. It's often advisable to move as quietly as possible to avoid detection. The faster you move, the louder your footsteps will be. It is therefore advisable to walk or move in a crouch when you're trying to be discreet. It was C. Footsteps on that little. Th uh, hmm. <laughs> I heard you. Step behind the yellow line to reset the simulation. Well done. The volume of your footsteps can be modified by the material upon which you're moving. Okay. Be careful. Whenever possible, favor carpet or turf. All right, now open the door to the next area. I think I got that thing again. I was like getting like, yeah. It's it's the metal sound effect, and I'm right next to the door. Oh, metal! Wow, you're pretty light-footed. I mean, I wasn't that time, if but. Not sure what to expect around a corner. It is generally safe to step out for a moment to see what's up ahead. As long as you duck back quickly, you probably won't be spotted. Of course, the closer you are to an enemy, the more likely it is that you'll be seen. So listen for footsteps or conversation before leaving cover. Can't you do any better than that? Step behind the yellow line to reset the simulation. Not sure what it meant by step out for a moment. Just a moment while I check to see if there are lean controls. There are not lean controls. I did, however, find out that you can check your objectives by holding O. I also had to uh, map shooting to the left mouse button because the default was left control. Proceed to the next course. While employees do not abuse your phone privileges, all personal calls must be logged and sent to accounting on the second Tuesday each month. Thank you. Use your flashlight to find your way to the door. That's L, apparently. Really glad I looked through the uh, keyboard controls. Your flashlight is an effective tool, but it can also give away your position. Try not to let enemies see the beam. It's a very strange looking flashlight. It must be very dusty in here. Oh. To the firing range. Oh god, I am running. Right there. Hello, 
Kate. How are you? Smitty fast. wants me to run you through a basic firearms refresher course. Uh, the revolver? Because it's a revolver, it can't be adequately silenced. But its simple design accommodates a wider range of ammunition types than most automatic pistols can reliably handle. That's a fast reload. I appreciate that in a revolver. There you go. I have to use up and down on this thing. Shepard and then Arms enter. P38 9mm pistol is a rugged little automatic that was favored by Allied commanders during World War II. It features a 10 round magazine and can be fitted with a silencer. Is that like a button? Oh god, right mouse button is, uh, walk forward. Hmm. There was a thing. Next function was F, but I was wondering if that's like, oh, this is where you attach the uh, thing. There didn't seem to be any alt fire. As anyone can tell you, subtlety is Burning Dog Face's middle name. What do you think of that? things I saw in that same menu was zoom in, zoom out, but it doesn't seem to work, so I assume that it's only with specific weapons. I would have figured the rifle would be one of them. Although, to be fair, I would have figured this thing was a shotgun from the way it looked. Oh. Oh, we're good. The No One Lives Forever song is already stuck in my head. Some things to note about firearms. If the dynamic crosshair option is enabled in the menu, you can gauge your accuracy by the relative size of your crosshair. The larger it is, the worse your aim will be. The next function key is very important. With it, you can cycle through the available oh, okay. ammunition types for a given weapon. More importantly, it cycles through a gadget's various functions. For example, it allows you to toggle between the barrettes, lockpick, and weapon modes. Learn to monitor your ammunition. Reload your weapon between firefights to make sure you don't run empty at inopportune Oh shoot, I'm an old hand at that. Unity Medical Report. Dum dum rounds typically cause bleeding wounds that are characterized by an accelerated pulse. Uh, subjects frequently report being deafened by their own heartbeat for a brief period. Weird.
Neat. That's a little more depth than I was expecting. You can shoot through certain walls and objects. Of course, doing so may affect the accuracy, range, and velocity of the shot, but it's sometimes preferable to dispatch an enemy before he sees you. Keep an eye out for these materials. Leon, please remind operatives that they can use the zoom in and zoom out keys as scoped weapons for a closer view of a distant target. Yes. Ha! <laughs> Aren't I clever? I'm gonna level with you folks. I couldn't find any option for dynamic crosshairs, so I have no idea if it's enabled or not. Sure, let's just call it that. H for holster. fail if three or more bystanders are slain by enemy fire. Oh, if you're ever in doubt, look at your crosshair. It will change to indicate the person you're targeting is friendly. Use the holster weapon key to conceal your weapon rapidly. If your weapon is already holstered, hitting this key will draw the last weapon you had out. Oh, I, uh, found an option to make the... It turns out the thing on the side was a, w a weapon icon, and I made those bigger because we are working at a modern resolution, so everything looks tiny. Quick save. Down you go. You killed a civilian! Instead of murdering that man for no reason at all, The fuck? That man must not have a brain. For the record, it's uh, Z to zoom in, X to zoom out. It's not ideal, but you know, you deal with it. Actually, can I go back and get some ammo? No, I cannot. Hello? So I'm not in, in. Where'd my guns go? Never mind. I'll just, I'll just decide that I imagine. Santa's workshop, gadget lab. Where's this Santa I've heard so much about? Let's talk about your barrette. In its default mode, it can be used as a lockpick, ideal for bypassing certain keyed padlocks. Of course, the more complicated the mechanism, the longer it will take to pick. Note that the barrette only works on padlocks with keyholes. Oh, uh, I did hear about that. One of the things I know about this game is that uh, a lot of your spy gadgets look like female fashion items. Probably as a passive-aggressive thing. <laughs> I don't know how to get that out. I should look up how to get my gadgets out. Can I get us to do this? No. Okay, looks like I have to use the next weapon, previous weapon buttons. Fair enough. To Technology Division, please be prepared to move your cubicles from Section 4 to Section 5 next Wednesday to make room for the Accounting Division. If it's the last thing I had out, I can just hit H to unholster it. Leon, please be sure to inform all operatives that most keyed padlocks, padlocks 
can be shot off as well as picked. Santa. So is this guy speaking to me, Santa? The barrette can also be used as a weapon by hitting the next function key. When you slash an adversary, the pressure on the blade releases a small amount of toxin into his bloodstream. Quite deadly. Uh, I'm... Oh, it's a dummy! I was like, I'm not sure I want to murder this guy. Ow! My fucking hand! Okay. There we go. I thought I, like, banged my head on the side of the case and didn't actually hit him. Coins? Ugh. That's not a gadget. That's something anyone can do. I could do that. A spare bit of change can come in very handy when you need to distract someone. Practice tossing this coin to divert the guard's attention. Try not to throw it off any high ledges. Uh, Elizabeth II del Gratia. Re oh, Regina. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. She is the queen. It's a coin! Not much more to say about it, is there? Hello? Nobody there after all, then. Must be the old bean working against me. Yes, don't forget to reload your coins, kids. Oh, jeez. Over there. It doesn't seem to be a very good distraction. It doesn't even leave the spot. Hmm. Must be nothing, but you can't be A judicious kidding. agent doesn't leave corpses lying about, as they tend to arouse suspicion. Judging by your slight frame, you won't have much luck hauling bodies away, so we've come up with this special body-removing powder just for you. Sprinkle a bit of it on dead tissue, and voila! The cadaver will vaporize almost instantly. Feel bad for this crash test dummy, but okay. Body remover. Sprinkle some of this powder on a dead body and watch it dissolve into ether. Neat. Ready to go, eh? Well, have a safe mission and come back in one piece. Thank you. They don't care that she's a woman. <laughs> Thank Master Spy. Oh, I missed you intelligent intelligence at intelligence items, yeah. So something about my intelligence. intelligence has discovered that the American ambassador to West Germany, Morris Monroe, is marked for execution by an organization calling itself H-A-R-M, or HARM. The assassination attempt is expected to come on the last day of Monroe's upcoming holiday in Morocco as he is leaving his hotel. There will likely be multiple assailants. It is imperative that Monroe survive the attack. Be warned, though, that the ambassador is extremely nearsighted and almost deaf, so you won't be able to rely on him to realize that he's in danger. You will be positioned in a residential building across the street from the hotel. Your job is to pick off the assassins before they liquidate Monroe. Roger that. Protect Ambassador Monroe from harm assassins. Rendezvous with Bruno at the Grand Caravan Hotel. Head for the coast and rendezvous with the Abigail. Prevent civilian casualties. I think I'd rather pick my equipment if it's all the same to you. Uh... Oh. Oh no! Oh uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's, let's stick with that after all. Oh! Oh! Sorry, I looked at that entirely wrong. Uh, don't try harder, do harder, says my lozenge wrapper. A 
Agent Archer's signature weapon. Hmm. I think I'll stick with this one because it can have a silencer on it. I'm cutting this episode off right here so I can use the cutscene at the beginning of the mission at the beginning of the next video. So, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play No One Lives Forever, Burning Dog fans. Later!